Welcome to GardenWise Adventures. My name is Malie, and today is video number 17 of our Beginning Gardener series. And today we're going to talk about planting peas. Now I'm a little disappointed. This is the second week in March and I was kind of hoping to be able to plant my peas outdoors. I'm going to show you some footage of when I was able to plant peas in mid-February. But today there's a lot of snow, the ground is completely frozen solid, and there's no way I can plant peas. I even thought about removing some of the plants in my hoop house and planting peas in there. But I've given up and I've decided that we're going to plant some peas today. But I wanted to talk to you about different ways that you can grow peas. Now, one way I'm growing peas is indoors for the greens. Now, I love the pea greens. They taste just like peas, and I've been growing these indoors for a little while. Now, I did a video on Wednesday, which is a few days ago, that showed how I made a salad with some of these. So I'll link a video for that one. So today, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just be starting my peas in pots, and I'm actually hoping that in a couple of weeks, when, once these have sprouted, I can move them outdoors. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So these are the peas that I'm going to plant. I absolutely love sugar snap peas, which means the pod is edible, as is the pea, and the pea will actually get full size. So I love the sugar daddy. I'm going to plant that. And I'm also going to plant this sugar magnolia. Now the sugar magnolia is also a sugar snap pea, or a snap pea, but the pods turn purple and so do the flowers, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now to plant these peas today, I did soak them overnight, but when I plant them outdoors, I usually don't soak them. I haven't noticed very much of a difference in the germination rates. So I'm going to be potting them up in these pots, which I normally don't do. We've got frozen soil outside, like I said before, so I can't get them in the ground. But usually I just plant them into the ground as soon as I can actually get them in the soil. And they'll just come up when they're ready. But I'd like these to sprout and be ready to plant out in the garden within the next couple of weeks, if at all possible. Hopefully we don't have to wait any more than three weeks because peas are much better when you direct sow them in the ground. Now I don't know if you can read this very well. I've already dripped water on this. But peas need to be buried an inch deep. So that's what we're going to do in these pots. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to dig an inch deep hole in these pots because we're supposed to plant these an inch deep. Now we're going to do half of the sugar daddy. So we're going to drop one pea in each hole. Hopefully we get good germination on these. And then we're going to tamp it down and we'll water it in a little bit later. The seed starting mix is pretty wet. It's a little wetter than I'd hoped it would be. But you work with what you've got. So make sure those are covered. Now we're going to do the sugar magnolia. It's pretty purple flowers. Make sure the peas are in the hole. And now we're going to cover them up. So they're in there. As I said, we'll water them a little bit later. And this is what is left with my peas. It's a little disappointing that I couldn't plant them outside today. We've got kind of a storm raging and it's really cold. But now that I've soaked the peas, there is the issue that they probably won't be good anymore. So I may go out a little bit later today and if the weather improves and see what happens, see if I can get into the hoop houses. If not, if not, Gigi and I will just have to do that later. So just to give you a little bit more information about peas, peas are one of the more cold hardy crops. You can stick them out on the ground even if your ground is going to freeze again. As long as you can work the soil, you can plant peas. They can take frosts once they've come out of the ground and, and they ripen quick enough that you can plant them early and then be able to remove them in time to plant other crops. They also can take a little bit of shade, so if you have a shaded area, you can plant them there, or you can plant them under trees that will be shaded after the peas are done. 
peas are one of my favorite things to grow. So I'd love to hear any tips you have about growing peas and if you've been able to plant your peas yet. And I'd love to be able to hear what varieties are your favorite. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has been helpful, I hope you like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and go have a wonderful garden.